Hey everybody, <clears throat> it's uh, <clears throat> Fifty Shades of Ray Facebook live stream, and uh, whew, been a rough day. It was a dialysis day today, but I came home, and uh, I, I'm I'm always tempted to do a live stream no matter no matter what if I'm up and I'm feeling half decent and stuff. So, um, uh. I, I, you know, I, here's, I, I missed, uh, I missed my ride this morning. I, um, uh, I, I got, you know, I had the alarm set and I was sitting here playing a game and I got ready and the, my, my alarm goes off at, uh, you know, I'm all ready to go. I just set the alarm just so if I'm playing a video game or something, I, you know, I don't, I don't miss my ride. So... The alarm goes off, and I get up, and I get all my stuff, and I get ready, and I'm like, oh, man, I didn't, I didn't bring anything to munch on with me. So I, and that was, that was like at 935, so I went into the kitchen, and I made uh, a bag of popcorn, put it in a container, stuck it in the thing. Now, my ride, EMT, Express Medical Transporters, they only, they have a policy where they only wait five minutes for you. So when they get somewhere, they they push the button that they've arrived at the destination, and it starts the countdown, and then it gives them a little beep or something and tells them when the time's up, when to go, that they've waited long enough. Their policy used to be 15 minutes, but too many people kept taking advantage of that. So, um, so I make popcorn, and uh, I stick it in my bag, put it in a container, stick it in my bag, and I... And I go downstairs, and I'm standing there, and it's like, you know, I, I must have missed him by like a minute or two minutes. To make the popcorn took like three minutes to put it in a container in the bag, uh, get out of my apartment, walk downstairs, or walk outside, go take the elevator downstairs to the first floor, and just look out the window, probably took ten minutes. And I started making that popcorn. The alarm went off at 9:35. I started making the popcorn probably about 9:40. Um, and so that that there was my five, you know, from 9:35, five minutes to make the popcorn. And then that, that was my five minutes afterwards to get down there. So he must have just left and pulled down the fucking driveway. Um, so, uh, uh, hey Sean, how you doing? Um, Thank God for Tina Hanlon. Uh, she's my home care worker. Uh, she pops in on the live stream from time to time. And uh, that's getting annoying. Why is it doing that? Why? Stop. Stop. Stop doing that. I, I, don't, why, I, don't, I don't know why that camera was, was doing that. Um, I've I probably got so much software... Uh, installed here for the for the camera that uh, yeah it's yeah it, it's just uh, I I think I, there's so much software in there it's just like uh, there it goes again it's like focusing in and focusing out on me or something anyway um, <laughs> you son of a bitch like <laughs> I wish you would just stay out well. It's, let me look at this Logitech software. Hold on. I got to look at this Logitech software shit. That's probably what it is. It's probably the main camera software is uh, is um, having problems with the... Uh... There we go. Okay. And let's see what those preferences are. Uh, don't, what are you doing? Following me around. Oh, follow my. Oh, okay. I've got it now. There. Now, we should be a little more stable. 
the color will probably be a little bit better too. Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, my ride. Yeah, I missed my ride. So, uh, by like a minute. Um, so I, and I don't have any minutes on my phone, which, which sucks. I, you know what? I, here's the thing. I had plenty of minutes on my phone. There we go. I had plenty of minutes on my phone. Um, I just have so many doctor's appointments this month. I burnt through all those freaking minutes. And of course, you know, I got to call EMT three times a week, the dispatch to tell them, you know, this is me. I'll be ready to go in an hour. Um, so I had no time on my phone. I couldn't call Tina. Had to run back up to the apartment here and get on the computer and Facebook message. And that's, that's mostly how we communicate is by Facebook messenger. So got on there, told her, said, look, yeah, I'm sorry. I, you know, I, I need, I just, I got to get a ride over there or, or, you know, it's, it's dialysis. What are you going to do? I, I've got to get there. Um, so I got over there and she was kind enough to come and pick me up as well and, and bring me home. So, uh, Tina, if you watch this later, thank you. Here's a toast to you. It's not, it's coffee, but, oh, well. Here's Tina Hanlon. Thank you for picking me up and dropping me off and picking me up and dropping me off again. Oh, God, what a day. I've been uh, real busy editing edit, editing videos um, to post up on YouTube. And uh, I've said it before, YouTube's going to be the catch-all. So if you want to see anything me and and and, and catch up on anything that's going on with me, you can you can zap over to YouTube. I put the link in the descriptions before. Um, I can do that now as well. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Right there is, where is it? Right there is the link to the YouTube channel. But you can go, it's the same YouTube channel I've had for years and years and years. Um, there's a few subscribers, but I think they were people that like subscribed like 10 years ago and just never, never came back. And now their YouTube counts are defunct or whatever. But um, if you want to catch up on anything that I've been doing, um, Facebook live streams going on there. Um, I'm I'm gaming now on Twitch, um, uh, so Twitch uh, automatically uploads to YouTube after I'm done uh, playing there, and it's not they're not long videos. I try to keep Facebook live streams under 30 minutes. I try to keep uh, my Twitch games, you know, like three or four games. Some people get on there and stream for hours and hours and hours, and uh, first of all, I can't do that. Um, I've got to get, you know, I've got to get up and walk around. So I, I, I pick a game and I'll play, you know, I'll play two or two or three matches of a particular game. If, if it's a if it's an open world game um, like Defiance or Eve or uh, Black Desert or uh, um, oh God, I can't think of all the freaking freaking games. Oh, Kelly, hey, uh, still playing music and singing? Nah, you know, not really, not not for a long time. I, I kind of, I, I do have a guitar, I've got a microphone, I've got recording software. I've been doing more, um, more DJ type work, basically just taking songs and um, uh, mixing them together. I, I take popular songs and I fuck them up and... Then I take loops and samples, and um, uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the in the comment section uh, to my uh, SoundCloud page, where you can check out some of the music uh, that I've been doing. I've got like um, I've got like uh, Mac Le Mac Lethal, uh, um, uh, Sean Paul, Anne Marie, uh, Miley Cyrus on there. Uh, who else do I have on there? Um, uh, Kendrick, 
uh, Ed Sheeran, uh, she she Haran, DJ Khaled, um, uh, who else? Um, Melanie Martinez. I've got uh, Die uh, Antword on there. Um, here's the link right over here. Boop. There's the SoundCloud link. Um, you can check out what I've been doing in there. Um, uh, but I just, you know, I, I, I always thought, you know, I sang pretty well, you know. Uh, I sang pretty well for a 20-something-year-old fat guy. But uh, I was never going to be, I was never going to be great. And I knew that. And I, and I, never, I never tried to aspire to be more than that. Um, and it's, and it's hard to keep a group together. And it's nice to see that everybody's still playing. You know, I, I subscribe to Jimmy Mason's, uh, YouTube channel and he's, he's still playing. He goes out and plays. And, uh, uh, so it's nice to see that everybody's still playing and, and musically inclined. And I, first of all, I was never that good on guitar. I knew, I knew some chords, but you know, the odd, the, the odd chords, the more, advanced chords I just were lost on me and I just didn't have the fingers for my fingers were too fat I had I had fat guy fingers that's it comes in handy sometimes having fat guy fingers isn't a bad thing all the time but um yeah, if you look at some of my other videos, if you if you want to know what's been going on in my life, you can look back at some of my other videos. And I talked about uh, I talked about the kids and getting divorced and um, uh, getting sick and uh, <clears throat> and just to the point in my life where I'm ready to move on. This is the next this is the next phase. We're preparing for the next phase, and that's why. Um, that's why now I'm scheduling all these doctor's appointments. That's why now I'm looking to get all the equipment that I'm going to need to take care of myself uh, or for other people to help take care of me when I get to that point, which probably isn't too far off. I'm 47, just had a birthday. It was June 12th. And uh, it's, um, I, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit 50. If I, You know, if I make it to 50 and I'm not in a fucking wheelchair, uh, I guess I'm doing good, you know. I'm hey, you know, I keep keep going until I can't go anymore, and then put me in a fucking wheelchair. Although, um, since I bought this, I bought a new, I bought this laptop. This is what I live streamed last night in the lobby. On I was in the lobby and uh, outside the apartment building uh, last night. So I bought this uh, Acer laptop from Finger Hut of all places, and, um, and it's son of a bitch is heavy, man, this is like, this is like a couple of pounds, and, and the reason I got this is because it's the 17-inch screen, um, here, let me open it up, it's the 17-inch screen. It's got a little. It's got the little spy camera right there. It's got a 17-inch screen. Well, I wanted a laptop so I could go mobile, so I could. So when I'm at dialysis or when I'm at the hospital, I can play my games on it. But my problem was is that laptop screens were always so small. Ow, were always so small. I couldn't see what the fuck was going on. So um, the next thing up from this was like, uh, like an all-in-one desktop. Which was which was just like a big TV, but I can't carry that around with. That would have been even heavier. So here's, I mean, this is this is the uh, largest stock uh, laptop screen I could find, which was 17 inches. You can buy specialized laptops which have bigger screens on them. Thousands of dollars. This this particular laptop was just b between this laptop and the equipment that I got, which was like this headset and some other stuff, was just under $600. So, yeah. so But it's Finger Hut, and Finger Hut's expensive shit. But it's qu I always thought Finger Hut was quality stuff. So I'm ordering everything from Finger Hut. I'm going to go Finger Hut crazy. 
I'm already I'm already into them for six hundred dollars. I might as well, you know, I might as well keep going, pay off pay off a little something, get a little more credit, you know, and get something else. Because I figure it's like this: when I die, I want my last I want the last check I write to bounce. Because if I'm dead and I'm in debt, who gives a shit? Because nobody is nobody's going to be liable to pay for it. Nobody. I don't. The, the you know the kids won't have to pay for it because there's no there's no legal binding attachment between me and the kids anymore. So um, so they won't have to pay for it. I'm not married anymore. I'm divorced. So they won't have to. She won't have to pay for it. Although I ought to put it in my will that she should. But if 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 I see if I if I make if I do anything like that to her, it affects the kids. So you know, and I don't want them to think their old man was an asshole. Maybe they think I'm an asshole anyway. I, I you know, I don't know. But oh well, what are you gonna do? I gotta have another cup of coffee. God, my hands cramping up here a little bit. Took all my meds. Had a shower, had some uh, had some dinner, cooked up some uh, huevos rancheros, and um, watched a little bit of a movie. And I was yeah, I was getting I was getting ready to jump in that. I was getting ready to jump in the rack, man. Look at my eyes, man. I am so fucking stoned. I took all my meds, man. And when I take my meds, look, look, look. I'm just like. I look like I've just smoked a, a big, huge spliff, man. I just like, <sighs> oh man, I'm so, I'm so stoned, man. Where are the cheat? Where are the? Oh, oh, I better. Oh, I found a lump. Nope, it's just a Cheeto. Um. So, uh, God damn, my arm is cramping. I can't take any more meds. I've taken as much as I can. Um. So why my arm is cramping, I don't know. But I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, give me a second here. Let me see if my arm will stop cramping. This is one of the pitfalls of dialysis. When you when you remove as much fluid today, they took off today eight kilos. That is almost eight kilos. And for those of you who live outside the United States and deal with the metric system all the time, a kilo is like 2.2 2 pounds. So they took off eight kilos of fluid off me today. So do the math. So that's almost 20 pounds of fluid, of actual body fluid that they took off. My belt, when I stood up after treatment, my belt side, my belt went down two notches. That's how much fluid they took off. So um, it's uh, it's it's the the treatment is really uh, really wears on you physically, um, which is which is why I'm home all the time. But I want I want to get a phone, uh, a smartphone uh, with a decent camera in it. So I can go more mobile, and if I if I've got the if if I have the desire to do um, live streams and go mobile, maybe that will help uh, help me get healthier by you know by walking around and doing stuff. And I'd like to walk around outside. It's it's a pain in the ass carrying that. Uh, <laughs> laptop. It's got to weigh eight, eight pounds, and here I am, like jogging around the freaking parking lot last night with it, at f or no, this morning with it at four o'clock in the morning. I did, I did a live stream before. If you check back down on my on my on my TL on my timeline, it's there's a um, there's a there's a Facebook live stream from four o'clock in the morning, uh, or it's on YouTube. You can get the the YouTube link. Um, down here is also there's a YouTube link and a SoundCloud link. Um, you you can catch that, and it's and it's. Uh, I was trying to show the um, the apartment building where I live. I managed to show the interior of the first floor, and I went outside. And I normally the building's like really illuminated. There's like street lights on, and you can see the building really good at night. 
And it's a, it's a nice looking building. It's not crappy at all. It's not like a, you know, it's not like 24 floors of flaming death. Right? <laughs> Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. If you don't if you don't know the reference to 24 floors of flaming death, Google it and it, it'll it'll pop up. It's probably too soon to be making jokes like that probably. But and, and so I apologize, but um <clears throat> so I went outside uh, to eight, and this eight pound laptop and I'm trying to, you know, and I've got the oxygen tank and I'm sucking wind and uh, the COPD is acting up and I'm like, this is our, I turn around and I'm like, this is our building. And it's just a, it's just a big black blob with like some light coming through the windows. And I'm like, son of a bitch. I hiked all, I hiked all the way out here with this laptop to turn around and get a picture of nothing. So there's like a little bit of picture of the cars and a little bit of picture of the town of Western Port, which is up on the hill. Western Port, you know what? If you want to know about where I live, and and trust me, I, I, am, I, am, I live here totally by accident. I didn't intentionally move here. It wasn't purposefully done. It was just the first apartment that opened up when I was separating from my wife. And I went here, and I never intended to stay here as long as I did, and it's been five years now. So I, I don't know. I guess it's I guess it's home until they uh, until they kick me out or they or they fucking carry me out one or the other. So, but if you want to know about Google Western Port, W E S T E R N Western Port, Maryland, is where I live, and there is a wastewater treatment plant smack dab in the center of the town and in the summertime 95 degrees 98 degrees that shit plant is cooking man and it is everywhere it can make you sick if you have if you you need to have well if it's 98 degrees your windows ought to be closed your fucking air ought to be on anyway but there's a wastewater treatment plant dead in the center of the town right in front of it like like a hundred, like half, like 50 yards, half a football field in front of, not even maybe that, maybe 20 yards, 25 yards, there is a McDonald's. Yeah, a McDonald's, like 20 yards in front of this wastewater treatment plant, this shit plant. Now, that's one in the center of the town. Down the road uh, north of me, there was another wastewater treatment plant which kicks off and then in town uh to the let me think this is let me think north north south east west okay so west of me there is a a wood mill or a pulp mill or something so when the when the when the sh when the shit plant number one and the shit plant number two the mad the mad the mayor, uh, mechanical, uh, the shit plant, <laughs> whatever it is. I'm trying to, I don't know. I'm trying to expand my vocabulary for those uh, members of the family that live outside of the United States. But, but mad is French. <laughs> none, none of them are from France. But I guess it translates over. I guess everybody knows what mad is. Um, anyway. So you get the you get the pulp mill, the two shit plants, and the you know and the nice summer heat going 98 degrees. This place turns into a symphony of smell, an an odiferous opus. It's just an, it's incredible. It's it's just it's it's it'll it can literally. Uh, uh, it it physically attacks you when you go outside. When you open the door and you enter into the heat and the smell from the wastewater treatment plant, your body actually has a physical reaction. You 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 have a you know there's some there's something a, a twitch or a jerk or a, you know or you're like like that. You know, and it's that's how bad it is. So, uh, but you know what? I I guess it's home. You know, 
I, 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 I've, I guess I've, it, any kind of roots that I have, I guess I've, I've, I've put down here. I've established myself medically in this area. Um, uh, the doctors know me, and they know the, the, the what, I, what I'm going through uh, with my illnesses, and so, and, and that's, and that's, a, that's, that's a good thing. Um, starting, starting in a new place uh, with new doctors is always, is always hard. It's always a pain in the ass because you literally have to train those doctors and nurses. That's the way I look at it. With all their expertise and with all their learning, they have to get to know you. And in order for them to get to know you, you have to train them how to treat you. Um, doctors aren't always right. Don't always take the doctor's word for it. Um, just because they went to school and they had all this learning and they paid for it and they got their degree, they're not always right. And what I've told my doctors in the past is, I'm like, hey, doc, listen, I have been me longer than you have. So I know me better than you. Um, and this is what I think um, this, because this is what I feel. And some, and uh, most of the time I've gotten really lucky with doctors around here. Um, there's some really great doctors in this area, uh, and they listen to their patients, and, and that's important to me. Um, with my dialysis doctor, my dialysis, and she's, and the dialysis doctor is called a nephrologist, and my nephrologist is Dr. Bethany Pellegrino, uh, out of Morgantown, West Virginia. Fantastic doctor, I, um, I, you know, I, she really listens to what I have to say about how I feel about the treatment and about how I want the treatment to go, um, and I can pretty much, I can pretty much, you know, do my own thing uh, as long as it's not like completely outrageous. Uh, she'll agree to most things. Um, same same thing with prescriptions. She does they they do not like most doctors. She does not write prescriptions for opiates, um, but uh, prescriptions for other things like I I take Ativan for anxiety, I take gabapentin for my diabetic neuropathy, and that's and see this see my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that stoned look in my eyes is the gabapentin. So that's that's what really that's what really helps me. Um but the Ativan is a must as well. Uh and and the the thing about it is Ativan and gabapentin are are basically the same thing. And so some people are like they tend to they think it's like double dose and I don't think so. The the Ativan and the gabapentin affect me very differently. So I don't know what people say when they mean that it's the same thing. Um, the, the gabapentin definitely uh, changes the way the, my body experiences the pain, um, mostly coming from the legs, pit, that diabetic pins and needles type feeling, and, uh, and of course the anxiety, and that's just, um, that's just stress from being sick for so long and all the bullshit that you go through, and shit, man, I'm in counseling. It's funny because I just got a primary care provider and I haven't had one for a long time. I had always used uh, Dr. Pellegrino as my primary care, but I just got a primary care uh, provider doctor. Uh, it's the Allegheny Wellness Clinic in Western Port, Maryland. They look, they're right across the street from me. Um, fantastic people over there, just go-getters and wanting to get the job done, and it's, it's fantastic. I can't, I couldn't say enough good things about them. Um, but in but including over there with their primary care, uh, they have counseling. And I thought uh, while I was over there, uh, this was my second or third trip over there. I thought, why not? Why should I not get the full package? So I started counseling uh, for the first time in a long time. When I was very very young, when I was 14 or 15, I had some counseling that was just uh, uh, it was a joke, really. Um, so uh, for the first time in my life, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to deal with uh, uh, issues that have affected me my entire life, that I've just, I, I, always, had the, I always had the ability to compartmentalize, um, uh, which means I can be very single-minded. Um, I, I, I can get bored easily, and I can jump to a new project, 
But once I'm on that project, I'm, I'm absolutely involved and completely single-minded uh, into that project. Um, so, uh, but I can do that. I, I did that with I did that with emotions, and I did that with feelings. I compartmentalized all the things and 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 put them away. And I thought, you know, I'll just get to them some other day. Well, some other day has arrived because they're coming out on their own now. I just had uh, I just had a gallbladder uh, taken out, and that little bit of that little bit of surgery. Uh, for and you know, a gallbladder is like nothing. A gallbladder is like nothing. It's like getting your tonsils taken out anymore. Um, but I had complications with it because everything was swollen. Pancreas was swollen. Everything was swollen. So of course, uh, you know, they keep me in the hospital. What should have been day surgery for most people, I was in the hospital three fucking weeks for them to figure out what the fuck was going on with me. And before they transferred me to another hospital that fixed me in less than 24 hours and sent me home. Yeah, it's horse shit. I tell you, that's why, that's why I say, don't always believe what the doctors say. They don't always know. You had, I have these four or five doctors at this Western Maryland Health Systems who could not figure out what the fuck was going on with me. They made one phone call to uh, uh, West Virginia University Hospital in Morgantown, and the doctor up there was like, oh, child, yeah. I know what's wrong with him. Send him up here. So they put me in an ambulance. They shot my ass up to Morgantown. I got there on a, this was like a Thursday night. Uh, the doctor comes in and tells me, he goes, you're in luck. We've had a cancellation in the morning. We're going to get you into surgery first thing in the morning. They got me into surgery. Boom. I was out of surgery. I was home. Actually, I was home like at 6 or 7 o'clock because the guy, the transport guy that come pick me up, drove 60 miles an hour all the way home. And Morgantown is like 80 fucking miles. Or, okay, well, from my house to the interstate is 16 miles. And from the interstate to Morgantown is like 70 miles. So he drove, holy shit, the world is moving. So he drove like 60 miles an hour all the fucking way home. My God, it was like, it was like. Which, there we go. I lost the signal for a second. I lost you for a second. Abandoned ship. Women and children first. Damn the torpedoes and full speed ahead. Are we back? Are you live? Is it working? <clears throat> Let me say hi to everybody who popped in because I haven't been paying attention. I've just been talking my ass off. So uh, there's Mike and Velimir. And Kalusa, hello, I say I, again. And Gus, hello to all you people. Um, thank you. Thank you for uh, popping in and sharing a moment of your day with me. Um, we've been going on, we've got about, we, it's, it's about, a, it's a little over 30 minute live stream. So I think I'm going to call it because I, I don't like to, I don't like to run over 30 minutes. Um, so uh, I, I hope you had a wonderful day today. And I hope you're going to have a, uh, wonderful night tonight and make the most of it and share the night with someone if you can, whether it's a friend or a loved one. And um, I will uh, talk to you all uh, later sometime. Uh, might be, I might do another live stream tonight or I might just wait till tomorrow and uh, I might just go have a nap and uh, do a live stream tomorrow because tomorrow's a day off. I'm home all day. So uh, I'll have uh, plenty of time to be on. So uh, we'll catch you all later, okay? I hope you all have a good evening. Bye-bye.